Sweet chocolate, flaky pastry, and moist cake are just a few of the things that pop into mind when thinking of ingredients of a great dessert. But in other parts of the world, desserts aren't just about packing together as many sugary ingredients as possible. Back in the day, people didn't have fancy refined sugars or artificial sweeteners, and because of that, traditional desserts can have some pretty strange ingredients. If you've never thought of including chicken, red beans, avocados, or pasta in a dessert, you'll be in for a surprise when you hear about these desserts from all over the globe. Feeling hungry for tasty sweets and interesting facts? Keep watching to find out about 10 of the world's strangest desserts that you've probably never even heard of. Interact with us. Subscribe and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. Don't forget to leave a like and comment below. Also, feel free to suggest any type of videos you would like to see on this channel. Thanks! Number 1. Sakotis Sakotis is a traditional cake that comes from Poland, Lithuania, and Belarus. Its batter is made of butter, egg whites and yolks, flour, sugar, and cream, which is all pretty standard for a cake. However, the cooking method for this cake is quite unorthodox. Instead of being baked in an oven, this cake is spit roasted over an open fire. The dough is painted onto the spit in layers as it rotates over an open fire or outdoor oven. The name Sakotis translates to tree with many branches. This is because the cake usually ends up looking like a pine tree. The cake's dough begins to drip off of the rotating spit before being fully cooked by the fire, giving the cylindrical or conical-shaped cake irregular and pointy edges. Chocolate and flour decorations can be included on a sakotis, but it is more often than not served as is. If you ever find yourself in northeastern Europe, why not give this traditional but unique cake a try? Number 2. Ice Kachang Ice kachang, which is commonly referred to as ABC, is a shaved ice treat from Malaysia. Its nickname ABC is an acronym for Air Batu Kemper, which means mixed ice. Its other name, ice kachang, translates to bean ice, which is basically what the dessert is. Shaved ice and cooked red beans are mixed together to create a dish that is similar to ice cream. Red beans are the ingredient traditionally mixed in with the shaved ice, but over the years, many different ingredients have been included in ice kachang. Besides red beans, other ingredients that are common are palm seed, sweet corn, roasted peanuts, and Asian jelly desserts made from algae and other plants such as agar agar and grass jelly. They aren't as common, but sometimes aloe vera, coconut jelly, or ice cream will be added to the shaved ice treat as well. Ice kachang is very popular and can be found in many places in Malaysia, such as food courts, open-air markets, and coffee shops. Number 3. Togusa This milk pudding from Turkey has an ingredient that you wouldn't normally expect in a dessert. This pudding contains cooked chicken. This traditional dish dates all the way back to the Ottoman Empire where it was considered a delicacy. Traditionally, the ingredients would include white chicken breast, milk, sugar, cracked rice, or another thick grain, and cinnamon for flavor. Modern versions of togusa can use shortcuts such as rice flour or vanilla extract. The chicken breast is boiled until soft shredded into very fine pieces, and then pounded into the pudding until it is smooth. The result is a very thick pudding, which is usually molded into a rounded rectangular shape and topped with a dash of cinnamon. The taste of the chicken is undetectable, but it helps to give the pudding its thick consistency and add some extra protein to the dessert, which can't hurt. If you're looking for a somewhat healthy dessert to help you make gains, this might be the right one. Number 4. Wasabi Ice Cream Japan is known for having uniquely flavored candy in desserts, and their ice cream is no exception. Wasabi is a spicy green paste that is usually served as a condiment alongside sushi, but in this case, it is used to flavor ice cream. The ice cream has a pleasant light green color like mint or pistachio ice cream, but it tastes totally different. The way that the body reacts to wasabi's spiciness is different to that of a normal chili pepper. Eating wasabi creates an almost tingling sensation, like eating something really minty. This must make for an interesting ice cream eating experience. Some wasabi ice cream recipes suggest adding additional flavors such as honey or cucumber to balance out the spiciness. But hardcore wasabi fans will want to try just plain wasabi ice cream. 
Whether you like the taste or not, you have to admit, this is the first hot ice cream that you've heard of. Number five, Blodplatter. Blodplatter, also known as Vario Hukainen or blood pancakes, is a treat commonly served in European countries of Finland, Estonia, Sweden, and Norway. The pancake's batter is made from whipping together blood, water or beer, flour, and eggs. Eggs are not always used because the blood can provide enough protein to hold together the pancakes on its own. The batter is then fried up in a pan to make thin pancakes with a deep burgundy color. This recipe stems from the days when Scandinavian hunters tried to put every part of their dead prey to use. Blood from pigs or cows is typically what's used in blood platter, but some people even use reindeer blood. Blood can be purchased from a butcher for the recipe, or pre-made blood pancakes can even be purchased in Finland. The blood pancakes are typically served with lingonberries or lingonberry jam. The pancakes can also be served alongside pork or reindeer meat, or with a sauce made from cream, butter, and reindeer fat. Number 6. Makos Teshta You've probably never thought of using pasta in a dessert, but this dish does just that. This dessert is common in Poland, Germany, Slovakia, and Hungary, which is surprising since these countries are not known for their pasta like Italy and Greece are. Mako's Teshta is a dessert that consists of pasta, usually a wide or thick variety, coated in ground poppy seeds, powdered sugar, and butter. Fancier Mako's Teshta recipes can include dried fruits such as figs, raisins, apricots, and dates, nuts such as almonds, vanilla extract, honey, cinnamon, and rum for extra flavor and decadence. Mako's Teshta is usually served as a treat on Christmas, particularly in southern Poland. The same region also makes a similar dessert called makówki, which uses the same topping, but instead of pasta, the recipe calls for sweet white bread that has been boiled in milk and water along with the ground poppy seeds. If you ever find yourself in Poland around Christmas time, you'll have to try some of this pasta-based dessert. Number 7. Champarado Champarado is a chocolate porridge from the Philippines. This recipe comes from the Philippines' Spanish colonial era when Mexico began trading with the Philippines. Eventually, Mexican champarado, a sweet drink made with corn flour and seasoned with vanilla and cinnamon, was given a twist and became Filipino champarado. The dessert is made by boiling sticky rice with cocoa beans. Then regular milk or coconut milk and sugar are added for extra sweetness. Champarado can be served hot or cold, and it can even be eaten for a sweet breakfast. There is also a variation of champarado called tinugong that does not include chocolate, but is still sweet. This dessert may not seem so unusual, but the weird part is that champarado is usually served alongside dried and salted fish. Talk about a weird combo. However, if fish and chocolate together isn't your thing, you can just eat your champarado as it is. Number 8. Chocolate Covered Crickets Chocolate Covered Crickets originated in Southeast Asian countries like Thailand and Indonesia but have quickly become a worldwide phenomenon. Most people like this simple treat for the novelty of it. Chocolate Covered Crickets can also be a good way to sneak in more protein into your diet because crickets are 60% protein. Crickets are also thought to include all 9 essential amino acids, vitamin B12, prebiotic fiber, more calcium than milk, more iron than spinach, more than three times the antioxidants that orange juice has, and much more. So if you're a health buff, maybe you should try some crickets for a healthy dessert. If you have a sweet tooth for candy creepy crawlies, you'll be happy to know that chocolate covered crickets aren't the only insect candies on the market. You can also buy cotton candy flavored crickets or a lollipop with an insect suspended within it. There are lollipops with a variety of insects available such as scorpions, crickets, larvae, worms, and ants. Number 9. Creme de Abacate as vegan cooking becomes more popular, avocado is often used in desserts as a substitute for eggs or animal fat. 
but it's not every day that you see a dessert that is purposely avocado flavor. Creme de Abacate is a Brazilian dessert that translates directly to avocado cream and has a pretty straightforward recipe as well. All that it takes to make creme de abacate is mixing together a large avocado with some condensed milk or sugar and cream and a bit of lime or lemon juice for freshness, then popping it into the refrigerator to chill. The final product tastes like a delicious avocado flavored ice cream and the earthy flavor of the avocado is not as strange in a dessert as you might think. The avocados that grow in Brazil are very large and plentiful, so it makes sense that they play more of a role in a variety of dishes, not just savory ones. If you ever find yourself in Brazil, you'll have to try out this regional delicacy. Number 10. Tang Yuan Tanguan is a traditional dessert from China. Its name translates to soup ball or round dumplings in soup. As you can probably guess, it's basically a dessert soup. Now that's a food you probably never thought could be made into a dessert. This dessert dates all the way back to the Ming Dynasty. Sweet dumplings are made from rice flour and water and stuffed with various fillings, then they are served either in a hot broth or deep fried. Fillings for the dumplings can include chocolate paste, pumpkin, sugarcane rock candy, fruit preserves, sesame seed paste, red bean paste, or chopped peanuts. The broth that the tanguan are served in is sweet and ginger infused. Sometimes plain, unfilled tanguan are served in different dessert broths such as red bean soup, black sesame soup, or ginger and rock candy soup. Tanguan is seen as a symbol of unity and because of that it is traditionally eaten at weddings, family reunions, and festivals. However, Tanguan is a popular dessert in China and is often just eaten at home with family. Feeling inspired to try out some of these strange desserts? Maybe you could have some dessert soup as an appetizer before your dessert chicken and pasta. Of course, no meal would be complete without some chocolate covered crickets as a palate cleanser. Whether you're tempted to try these interesting desserts or not, at least you've learned that any ingredient can be used in a dessert if you try hard enough. Which of these desserts seem the yummiest to you? Are there any that you refuse to eat? Let us know your thoughts on these desserts in the comment section below.